Hey everyone, welcome back. In this practice tutorial, we are going to model this cool looking shape. At first glance, it may seem challenging, but once I demonstrate the techniques, you will see how simple it is to model this kind of shapes. Now let me delete this shape and start from zero. As you can guess, I will start off with a sphere. Then I will hit NNB. I will set this to hexahedron, which will give us a much better topology. Now let's hide this sphere and work on the detail we are going to add in. I will come over here and add in a disk, change to orientation. Let's go to the front view. I will set this to 6, then I will hold down Alt and click on Cloner Objects. I'm going to change the mod to Radial. Then I will set this to 3. Next up, here yeah, I need to change the plane, so X and Y is what we are looking for. Then I will change the offset, and yeah, here we go, this is it. Now I will drop this cloner into a connect object, then I will make this connect object editable, it's C. Now polygon pen tool, hold down control, and push these edges. Lastly, I will go to the 3D view, right click, and use close polygon hold tool. You can also select the basic one, grid one, it doesn't matter because inside of this mesh is not that important for us. The outline is the one that is important. Anyways, now let's unhide the sphere. Then I will go into model mode and change the size of that detail. Let me hit NNG in the front view to see through. Yeah, something like that. Now let's move that out. Then I'm going to polygon mode, select them all, control A, extrude tool, enable caps option. I will extrude these polygons through. That would be enough for us. Now I will start to change the segments of this sphere because right now it is too dense. We need to match these two different shapes. So I will slowly go down until I get a match. Uh, I'm sorry, first I need to know exactly how many edges I have on this outline. So let's go into edge mode. We select loop selection and select the outline and it says 12. By the way, you may not have this option to get it. Hit shift envy, go to the hood and enable, uh, yeah, this one, selected edges. You can also enable the other ones. Anyway, now we know that we have exactly 12 edges to get that detail or to get that shape. So what I'm going to do is quite simple. I will just go down until I have 12 edges. That will cover the detail, more or less. It doesn't have to be exact. Right now I have one, two, three, four, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. This is exactly what I need. Which means that I can drop this one into a bool, then drop this connect object under the sphere. Sorry. Let me do it again. First, I will select the sphere, then hold down out, add the bool in, then drop that connect object under the sphere. Perfect. Now I will make this bool editable, hit C. This will create two objects. I will keep this one because I need a reference to merge the points. So let's select the sphere, polygon pen tool. I will correct the topology and that object will be my guide because you know this is the one that creates that detail. We need to follow it. I know it may sound confusing but you will see what I'm talking about. Let's grab polygon pen tool connect that point to that one and that one to that one. Next up, I will move that point to that point. As I said, this is the reference we have. I should mesh the existing points of the sphere to the detail that I want to add in. Let's select the sphere, polygon pen tool. Now I need to add in another edge because I have a point over here. Then we have lots of points. So let me hit nine and select all these points, then weld tool, and weld them in the same place. And remember, this is the target point. Next, the same thing, 
select the points and weld them. Let me go back to the polygon pen tool. Connect that one to that one, that one to that one. I will get rid of that point. Then I will merge these ones. Let's select them. Weld tool. Polygon pen tool. Connect that one to that one. I will connect this one to this one. Then I will add in another one. This one over here. And finally, this one to that point. Perfect. Let me delete the connect objects. Now we need to correct the topology. I will add that edge in, then add that one. Nice. Now I will do the same, basically, because we need all quads. Hold down control, dissolve out these edges, and here we go. To check it out, I will drop this one into a sub D and I will look at the wireframes. And bingo, we found a problem. Let me select the polygon pen tool. Yeah, we have duplicated points over here. I will merge these. Sometimes I don't know why, but polygon pen tool cannot merge obvious points. In such cases, you can just grab them and use the weld tool. Hit Q. Yeah, the topology is looking just perfect. Oh, sorry. Another one. Let's hold down control and dissolve out that point with the polygon pen tool. Next up, we will add in another reference to project this object onto, which is going to be a sphere, as you can guess. But this time, though, I will stick to this standard type because I want this sphere to be as smooth as possible. So that's why I am increasing these up. Then I will hide it. By the way, do not disable it, just hide it. Otherwise, the deformer I will add will not be able to calculate it. So just hide it from the scene. Then I will just hold on shift and add in smoothing deformer. Let's turn off subdivision surface. Next up, I will add in another deformer, which is going to be the shrink wrap deformer, and it should be after the smoothing deformer. Then I will drop that perfect sphere into the target object tab. Let me turn this on and off so that you can see what these deformers do. First one is smoothing out the whole mesh. It basically evens out the polygons. Then we have the shrink wrap deformer. And you know what does that do? It basically projects the polygons onto another object. In this case, it is that sphere. Let me tweak the smoothing deformer because I want a uniform surface. I can double click on these and slide them. Then these points. I'm just trying to even out these polygons or points. Smoothing the former is cool, but it cannot solve all of your problems. So you should manually delete the mesh sometimes. Okay, let's see. Yeah, now this looks way better. I will enable subdivision surface and change the level of it because two is going to be too much. One is going to be perfect. Once I have done that, I will hold on control and duplicate these deformers because I will use them one more time. Then I will select the subdivision surface, right click and click on connect objects and delete. This is going to apply all these deformers. I will put this one under the subdivision surface again. I am adding these deformers again to make sure I have the smooth surface. Let me orbit around. The only thing I'm going to change is the iterations because these poles usually uh, create artifacts. So I will try to even it out even more. So let me set this to something like 25. But whatever you do, you will get pinching around here. So I will show you how to uh, correct it manually. But right now, let's 
uh, going to model mode, right click, connect objects and delete. I will just slide these down slightly. Then I will select that loop. That point is a little bit offset, so I will slide that point. Same here. Okay. Now let's select the loop ETT, scale this in. Move tool, hold and control. Then I'm going to flatten out this. First, I need to change the orientation of the axis. So right click, then select world. Then I will ETT, scale this on the Z, then I will stop at 0%, ETT again. And lastly, I will use class polygon hold tool. Let's select the grid one. Let's try the patch. I will rotate this around. Yeah, so it's looking fine. Now I can start to drop in my loop cuts to sharpen the edges. Like these ones. Let's drop this one into a new sub D. And an A. Yeah, perfect. Now let's look at this pulse. It might not come through the video, but there is a slight artifact over here, a slight bulging. So I will select the point and I will move it up. Sorry, first let's set this to normal. I will move it on that direction, then move it in slightly, but so slightly. Yeah, now it is looking just perfect. I'm not going to apply this on the other pulse, but you can do that. Next up, let's make a loop selection in polygon mode. Split them out, U and P, ET to scale these polygons in. Then I will double click on that edge loop. Let's go back to the world axis, ET, scale these in. Then I will apply this close polygon hole tool. Let's rotate this around to get a straight flow of like this one. Now let me make a loop selection, then field selection. I will convert these into points. Then I will get rid of these outline points because I don't want to change the position of them. Then brush tool, set this to summit, change the size of it, and smooth out these points. It's going to be that easy. Now I will go back to the polygon selection, then I will shrink down my selection one time, U and K, or you can hit V, select, and it should be somewhere over here. Yeah, shrink selection. Once I have done that, I will right click and apply fit circle tool. Then I will move these out. Nice. Let's make a new set. Hold on control and move these in. Now I will add in a loop right in the middle. Then I will enable this option, which will bulge out these new edges. Perfect. Next up, yeah, let me split these out. U and P, hit T, scale this down. Then I will select the outline of this object. Or let's select all the polygons, hold and control and move this out. And in set, then I'm going to select these polygons and scale them in. Next up, I will go into points mode, select a point in the middle, then enable, enable soft selection. I will set this to DOM, then increase up the radius to something like 40. Then I will just push it on the Z. Yeah, exactly. Now I will turn this off. I will make a little selection to move these out. Now let's group them. I will add some supporting edges. Uh, I'm sorry, I will hit Ctrl Z because I should turn this option off. Let me show you another way to add sporting edges. I will just select the edges that I want to sharpen and bevel. I will go into solid mode. 
it Q. Perfect. Next up, let's do the same thing on this mesh. Select the edges that you want to sharpen. Bevel tool in solid mode. Hit Q. Yeah. Perfect. That pole is bothering me. So let me go back to this one and tweak it a little bit. Yeah, now it looks perfect. Okay, this is going to be it. Let me show you the wireframe for the last time. It is just perfect. I am really happy with the result. So it is all about combining Shin Grab Deformer and Summiting Deformer. If you know how to handle this, you will be able to model nearly everything. This is going to be it from me today. I hope you liked the tutorial and learned something new. If you have any questions, just let me know anytime. You can always find me on the Discord server of the channel. In addition, you can find similar tutorials to this one on my Patreon page, as I have a lot of over there, as you can see. Anyway, I will see you in the next ones. Have a good day. Bye.